Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding with Marcus. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a car driving game in Scratch. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. I already named my game. You guys can name it too. Um, first, I'm going to delete Scratch Cap. Then, I'm going to go over to Backdrops, convert to Bitmap. Bitmap, right? Yeah, Bitmap. We're going to go to the fill, and then I'm just going to make a dark green color, like that, and double click, just like that. Next, or I'm going to first name it Racetrack. Next, I'm going to make the actual track. So, if you go over to the brush, I'm going to make a gray, just like that. Like that. And then make the size 100. And then we can just start making a track. Just like that, there's our track. I'm gonna move it a little bit. Center it actually. Not quite. I'm gonna try to fit it in the screen. Just like that. So we're gonna say, when green flag clicked. Um, for now, we're gonna grab a forever loop and then go to 3628. That will be different for you guys since I didn't center it. So just look down here for your coordinates. Next, I'm going to make a car. So I should have a car in my backpack. Um, let's see. Yep, right here. So, I'm going to grab that. So, there's my car. I'm going to make it, uh, vertical. I know, horizontal. Just like that. And this car is a little bit too big for the track. So I'm going to say when green flag clicked, change or set size to 80. Oh, nope. Set size to 50. 25. Maybe 35. Yep, 35 looks good. I'm also going to make a starting point over here. So we're going to grab a line. 10. Just like that. So that is our starting point. And now I'm going to start making the movement for the car. So I'm going to make a block movement run without screen refresh. So we're going to duplicate this, take out the go to and put in movement. So now in the define movement, I'm going to say if we need four ifs mm -hmm. 
So if go to sensing key A, I'm gonna do W A S D. I will start with W key W is pressed. Then go to motion. Move. Let's say three steps. Let's try that out. Um, I don't know why that's not working. Oh, I'm doing this in the track. Drag it over to the car. And then. So there it is. I don't think we need the forever loop. So let's try that out. Yep, that works. I think that's a good speed. Let's duplicate this. S. Key S press. Duplicate that. We're going to move negative three steps. Oh, also we have to position the starting point of the car. Just behind the starting line. So... In the one green flag clicked with the set size, I am going to put a go to. So again, just look down here for your coordinates. Now we have a car that goes back and forth. Next up, we want it to turn, obviously. So we're going to do key D pressed we want to turn three degrees clockwise so let's see that let's test that out yep that works now we just need to duplicate that Well, we should have duplicated that. Key A pressed. Going to turn 3 degrees counterclockwise. So let's test that out. Oh, we also want to point in direction 90 when we start. Just like that, I maybe want to make the car a little bit smaller, 32%. Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that was part one. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.